Let us look at another example of partnerships. Kinshuk and Rashmi invested rupees 400 and rupees 600 respectively in a business. If at the end of the year Rashmi gets rupees 120 as profit, what is Kinshuk's share in the profit? So let's say this is the business entity and Kinshuk has invested rupees 400 in the business while Rashmi has invested rupees 600 in this business. Now both of them have invested for the full year and at the end of the year there is a profit let's say P. Now this P is to be split between Kinshuk and Rashmi in the proportion of their investments. Now after the profit has been split in the proportion of their investments Rashmi gets rupees 120 as her profit. We have to find out how much does Kinshuk get. Now this profit here needs to be split in the proportion of their investments which is 400 is to 600. If we can cut these two zeros, two twos are four and two threes are six. So the ratio two is two is to three for Kinshuk is to Rashmi. So basically what this means is that if the total profit is split into five parts then two parts out of those five parts belongs to Kinshuk while three parts out of those five parts belongs to Rashmi. Now we have been given that these three parts is equal to rupees 120 and we have to find out what is this two parts going to be equal to. So in my mind basically quickly I can calculate that 3 parts is 120, so 1 part is 120 divided by 3 which is 40. And if 1 part is 40, then 2 parts is 40 multiplied by 2 which is 80. So Kinshuk gets rupees 80. Another way of solving this is 3 parts out of 5 of the total profit, let's say which is P, is equal to 120. So let's solve for P. So P is equal to 120 multiplied by 5 divided by 3. 3 1s are 3, 3 4s are 12. So profit is equal to 4 5s are 20 and one more zero, 200 rupees. Now Kinshuk's share is 2 out of 5 parts of 200. So 1 by 5 that is we'll split this into 5 equal parts multiplied by 200 and we want two parts out of these so multiplied by 2. So this becomes 5 4s are 20 and one more 0 4 to the 8 0 rupees. Another way of solving this is 3 parts is equal to 120. So 2 parts is equal to how much let's say this is x. So now here we can cross multiply. So x into 3 is equal to 2 into 120 or x is equal to 2 multiplied by 120 divided by 3. 3 4s are 12 and 1 0 and 4 2s are 8. So this is 80 rupees.